What's up guys, it's Margaret. Most boujoers tend to have a favorite doodle in their arsenal. Mine is flowers. Ever since I started bullet journaling, I fill almost every nook and cranny of my journal with some sort of flower. And if you've seen Snapchat's Discover page, you'll see my flower doodles all over there. So I thought it would be super fun to show you guys how I draw my different types of flowers so that you can turn your journal into a floral masterpiece as well. But before I dive in, make sure you subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future bullet journaling and doodling tips and tricks. Okay, let's get started. Typically, when I doodle in my bullet journal, I want it to be super quick and easy. So the first flower I'm gonna show you is a daisy. To start, draw a circle and color it in with a black marker. Then, draw 11 ovals around the circle. To draw this shape, I start from the base of the circle and move my pen upwards. Once I get to the tip of the petal, I move my pen in a rounded motion back down to the base of the flower. When you finish creating your 11 petals, you can go ahead and color them in with a yellow marker. The next flower I wanna show you that I draw absolutely everywhere is a rose. Start your rose off with a small squiggly swirl. This will be the center of the rose. Step two is to draw repeating squiggly lines around the center of the rose in varying sizes and shapes until you're happy with the size of your flower. Step three is to draw two leaves in an eyelid-like shape. To do this, start at the base of the rose and make one arc away from the rose and one towards the rose. To finish off the leaves, draw on some veins by creating a center line with a few dashes. The last step to drawing your rose is to color it in with the marker color of your choice. I chose to color in my rose a pinky red. Next up, I wanna show you guys how to draw an iris. To do this, I start with a small black circle with four petals coming out from the center. These four petals will be your main petals. Think of them as the base of your flower. Next, draw four more petals in the spaces in between the petals you just drew. Then, draw two curved lines coming from the center of the iris and finish them off by adding two black circles at the ends. Following that, draw two lines coming from the center of the flower on each of the four main petals. To finish up this flower, color the petals in a light purple color. Now that you've mastered the simpler flowers, let's try one that's more complicated, like the petunia. Start by drawing four heart-shaped petals. To draw these petals, start as if you're going to draw a heart, but round out the base instead of making it pointy. The next step is to draw two leaves on opposite sides of the flower. To finish them off, draw a circle in the center and add three to four lines on each of the petals. You can make this flower any color you'd like, but I decided to go for a light pink with nice green leaves to complete the flower. Okay, on to everyone's favorite, succulents. When I'm scrolling through Instagram, I see so many bullet journals with cactus-themed doodles all over them. So I decided to put two variations into this video. Start by drawing two rectangles and filling them with vertical dashes. Next, draw the base of the pot. For the first succulent, draw two ovals, one slightly larger than the other. For the second succulent, draw three layers of triangular-ish petals. To draw these petals, basically draw triangles without a base. To finish the succulents off, add dashes to the oval-shaped succulent and color them in with light green or yellow-green pens. Want to make your spreads more whimsical? Then you have to try these dandelions. What I love about them is they're super easy to draw, but they still look really nice on a minimalist spread. First, draw a small circle with several lines radiating out from it. These lines can either be connected to the circle or drawn with a little space between the center of the flower and the start of the line. Next, draw small U-shaped arcs at the ends of each line. Following that, draw a single line at the base of the flower for the stem. To finish off the dandelion, draw a few petals off to the side and it will look like a few of the petals are being blown away by the wind. Coloring this flower is optional, so if you'd like to add color, I'd suggest just adding a light highlight to each of the petals. Another flower drawing I see all over my Instagram feed are tropical leaves. They're super trendy and super cute. First, draw two long curved lines for the stem. Then, draw ovals along both sides of the lines that get smaller as you get closer to the top of the flower. Finish this flower off by coloring in the leaves with a light green marker. Moving on to our next flower, the tulip. 
Step one is to draw a large oval and two smaller ovals on either side. Step two is to draw another arc on the top of the oval. Fill that space with vertical dashes. Step three is to draw two lines for the stem and two leaves at the bottom of the stem, finishing them off with veins. The last step is to color in the leaves a light green and the petals with whatever color you'd like. Dahlias, in my opinion, are one of the most unique and beautiful flowers, which is why I love doodling them. They look way more complicated than they are to draw, so let me break it down for you guys. First, draw four small eyelid-like shapes for the center of the dahlia. Next, draw four triangular lines in the space between each of the four petals. Then, repeat those steps until you are happy with the size of the dahlia. Lastly, color a few of the petals blue, leaving about half of them uncolored. The last flower I wanted to show you guys is the sunflower. Start by drawing a circle with a squiggly border and filling it in with thin lines. Then draw small ovals all around the circle. To finish off the flower, add small dashes coming from the center. Color your sunflower in with a yellow marker. That's it! I hope this tutorial helps you fill up your journal with beautiful flowers. And if there's any other doodles you guys want me to break down for you, let me know in the comments below. And as always, remember to subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future bullet journaling tips and tricks. See you next week!